You're up. People have these Nerf dart wars at work sometimes, so in an effort to keep people from picking on me, I decided to create the world's largest functional Nerf gun. So I reached out to a couple fellow engineering nerds, Ryan and David, from the YouTube channel Eclectical Engineering to see if they were up for the challenge. So it's one thing to look good, but let's see how she holds up against the guns of my coworkers. So here's how it works. So the source of the air is this 3000 psi paintball tank. By pushing the trigger forward, you let the air into this firing chamber here. And then when you're ready, you can pull it back to let the air out into the main cylinder and fire a dart. So the paintball tank starts at 3000 psi, but the silver chamber is regulated to only 80 psi per shot. By doing it this way, you get about 20 shots out of a single take. So after you shoot, you just rotate the cylinder over and you can do it five more times. The darts exit the gun at about 40 miles per hour. And they're made of pool noodles with toilet plungers on the end, which means they can actually stick to things. So you can use it for skeet shooting, Or dude, perfecting. We also 3D printed a projectile that was a little more aerodynamic. And we were amazed to see it travel 130 yards. So I wanted to see if this thing actually worked in real life. And as usual, my niece and nephews were picking on me. So I challenged them to a Nerf dart war, only I may have neglected to tell them about my creation. <laughs> so a huge thanks to the brains and muscles of Ryan and David for helping to push this project to completion. They actually made a video on their channel of everything you need to know to build one of these for yourself. We also made some modifications to the Nerf gun to make it possible to absolutely obliterate watermelons. So go watch that and subscribe to their channel because they're kind of new, but they've got some really cool videos in the works. I also wanna say thanks to Audible. So a couple times a week, I will sit right here in my backyard and just sort of look at the sky and think about whatever. And it always makes me smile when I think that one of the dots, 50 million miles away, has stuff on it that I have touched and designed. In fact, of all the videos that I've made, my favorite one is the one where I talk about what it felt like to see Curiosity land. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. So Rob Manning was the chief engineer for the Curiosity mission, and he wrote a fascinating book I just finished listening to that gives a perfect overview of how Curiosity succeeded against crazy odds. He's a really smart dude and a great storyteller. So if you want to learn how NASA puts robots on tiny dots in the sky by listening to Rob's book, or if you want to listen to any other book for free, all you have to do is use the link in the description or go to audible.com slash markrober. Thanks for watching.